Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do something really special for you all and I'm going to take you on a shopping spree because um, people want to know what to buy at the grocery store. They believe that buying a whole food plant based is more expensive and they think that is also less convenient. So this episode is going to be about what to purchase from the grocery store and um, about how long that should last you and then I'm going to do another episode soon that will go through you know how to conveniently put these things together without wasting like two hours a day in the kitchen. I shouldn't call it wasting. Some people really enjoy that. Then you have people like me where <laughs> so busy that two hours in the kitchen that's like that's a treat you know that's that's like date night planned at home in the kitchen. All right, so uh, let's get going. All right, so I'm out here in front of Sprouts. It's just the store that's most convenient to me. Uh, you can find probably everything that I'm gonna pick up at uh, most grocery stores. Um, I'm going to purchase organic, and the organic thing I know that it's becoming, it has, become more and more popular over the last like five, ten years to um, stock up on organic goods for people, but there are a lot of people who still don't have a lot of access to organic goods. So if you can't buy organic, either financially or because it's not available to you, then just still get the produce. Don't avoid the produce because it's not organic. But if you do have the means to buy organic, then that's recommended because there are fewer chemicals that are sprayed on those puppies. All right, let's get inside and get to shopping. So as I'm looking at everything, I just want to say that I'm, I'm going to be getting salad stuff uh, mainly. You're not, a lot of you are not going to like this advice, but the fact is that if you've gotten to a point where you really need to lose weight or want to lose those few pounds, you're going to have to embrace salad. It is good for you. Greens are some of the most powerful things on the planet for you to eat. So we're, we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this and we're doing it the right way so that you can see, you know, what you can, what you can get. And the good thing about a salad is that it's, it's bulky and it's not very calorically dense. So you can eat a lot and get full. And, um, and if you're hungry again in an hour or two, that's a complaint that I hear, but I'm hungry again in an hour have more salad like you can have more produce it's going to be just fine for you to do that so let's go ahead and pick out some greens i like to get organic baby spinach spinach is good for you some people can't have spinach because of the oxalates um it, is, it gives them you know um, kidney stones or whatever and so if you can't do that then um you know pick something else that you can have that's fine but for me i'm going to go ahead and get organic uh, baby kill and organic spinach those are going to be my greens now these two containers they're i like them because i mean i could go ahead and get the bunches i could but the fact is that this is already pre-washed um it's thoroughly washed and ready to enjoy so i like that it's convenient and you know a lot of people avoid this stuff because it's not convenient so i want to show you how you can make it convenient i recycle and I mean, I know it's better to go ahead and not even have the plastic to begin with. I, I super understand that, but also not to be an a-hole or anything, but I'm a vegan. And so I'm kind of like, my, my carbon footprint is negative. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna allow myself this convenience. So this is a lot here. These are a lot of greens and these two containers will last me for sure the whole week. Um, it's because it's just it's bulky so it's wonderful sorry about the glare but hopefully you understand why that is happening the next thing we're going to look at are uh, beans and I've chosen to go beans next because I'm going to follow dr. Furman's recommendations he uh, has told everybody based upon his uh, breadth of experience and research that you should be getting greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds every single solitary day. So we're going to do that. These are super health promoting, cancer fighting, however you want to think about it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go for the organic and a lot of people say you can make your own. 
yes, you can make your own. Um, and some people have a pressure cooker and some people don't and some people have the time some people don't and some people want to deal with it some people don't again this is about convenience to show you can do it conveniently <laughs> if you want to and still it's not gonna be that expensive it's 99 cents for one of these um, cans so I want to get something that's gonna last me throughout the entire work week so I'm gonna go ahead and get two cans and I want to I kind of want a variety of beans I don't like sticking with the same beans so um, I'm going to go ahead and get chickpeas, and then I guess I'll get, I don't know, black beans, they're both going to be like the same. I'm choosing the low sodium option because you don't really need to be adjusting extra sodium. We have enough, uh, it's not like, it's not like we don't get enough sodium <laughs> in our diet uh, as Americans, and even just if you ate veggies, you would get enough sodium that way. So. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing in Dr. Furman's list, which is onions. All right, we've come upon onions. These are organic onions, and because um, we're in the organic aisle or you know portion, and um, here's the thing: red is better for you, but the way they're selling it, it's by the bag. And at least I can get yellow onions just individually. I don't need, you know, I mean, I don't need a whole bag of onions. I don't. And so if I really want to just think about a week's worth of onion, I really only need one onion. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one onion here and you know, see how much that weighs. All right. So we're talking about like $1.49 for this onion. That's, that's good enough. Onions are super good for you anyway. So, all right, we're moving on to mushrooms. Mushrooms, I think, are super important to go ahead and get organic because of the way that mushrooms are grown literally in a bunch of crap. And so you want to avoid that. That is not good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick these up, Organic Baby Bell. It doesn't really matter which ones you get. Um, because just any mushrooms are super, super good for you and they fight cancer. So we have $3.99 for this box. And even though that seems kind of expensive, this box is for sure, for sure gonna last me at, at least the whole week. So you don't need very much per day you can, in order to uh, help reduce your risk of breast cancer, for example, Dr. Furman said that you only need like a thumb's worth, but mushrooms don't really last that long so I like to eat more than that anyway that'll last me let's move on to berries can I just say really quickly how how odd it is to be filming in a grocery store and having everybody look at me please give this video a thumbs up <laughs> I mean I'm sacrificing my ego <laughs> Ugh. all right so I'm choosing frozen berries because uh, actually research shows that, that frozen produce actually maintains a lot more um, of the nutrients than fresh because these are flash frozen at the site usually and um, you know that means that means that it contains a lot of nutrients. Oh damn, 1349. Okay, we're not gonna do that. I don't need that much for a week anyway. Okay, we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna do organic blueberry here. Blueberries are super good for you. This one is $3.49, that's more reasonable. And for sure, um, this will last you. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot. I like eating a lot of blueberries, but if you just have like a few um, every day, then that's that's what's important. Um, Dr. Greger says it's important to eat blueberries with the other stuff that you're eating. I don't like putting this on my um, on my salad, of course, but you know, I'll heat these up and then I will just go ahead and put it on top of some oatmeal or sometimes we'll just have them by itself. It's fine in microwave. You don't have to worry about microwaving and they're delicious. And I find that the frozen ones are always super sweet. Just heat up in the microwave. It's super sweet. It's a nice little treat. It makes kind of a nice little dessert. And um, with the fresh ones, they, they don't last very long. Um, sometimes you get like a bad batch and it goes bad in a day or something or half of them are bad, but that's not the case with frozen blueberries, which is super nice. 
All right, let's move on to seeds. Here are some seeds. I find some hemp seeds, but I'm really looking for, um, no, not that kind of seed. I'm looking for flax seed um, so that I can grind it or ground flax meal. So this is not what I'm quite looking for. You could use hemp seeds and that's fine, but I'm really trying to find flax seeds because they're better for you. They've got the omega-3s, which is what I want. All right, jackpot. We've got the flax seeds here. And I'm going to get the flax meal. That just means round flax seed. And that's what you want. You don't want the, the whole flax seeds because they will go right through you. Now, this is clearly going to last me more than a week. It's going to last a thousand years. I mean, I, I go for two tablespoons every single solitary day. So how much is that? Um, I showed that it's 549. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this. And um, that can Dr. Furman's G-bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. So really, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be dedicating myself to this for lunch for a, a full week. And let's see how much that ends up costing. Salad dressing. Okay, so I'm not going to really have any pre-made salad dressing, and I do not add oil to my salads. I don't. Um, there is going to be enough fat in those ground flax seeds to absorb all the nutrients that I'm looking for. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick up, this one's on sale, that balsamic vinegar right there. So I think I'm gonna get that one. Although I will say I love this golden balsamic. I have it at home and I love it. So let's go ahead and pick up some of this balsamic right here. That's what I'll do. All right, so here we have it, two bags of groceries, and the grand total was, where can I find it? 28 26 28 so if I just sort of round that, divided by seven, this is $4 a day. $4 a day. Um, most people are probably spending more than that per day on their lunches. Um, and then some things are gonna last me longer than the week also like the balsamic vinegar and the flaxseed meal that's going to last a lot longer than a week. So this is really coming out to under $4 a day. <laughs> it can be done and I did not plan this out ahead of time. This is just spur of the moment grocery shopping. So all in all I just wanted to show that it can be done and um, you know, you can, this is all, these are all whole foods. Not one thing was processed. Nothing. And they're super convenient, right? They're pre-washed and already packaged and you know, you need to do very little, just like basically throw them all together. And you might have to cut up a couple of things, but not very many things. So it's probably take only a, a handful of minutes of preparation. So um, that's gonna be in the next video. Until then, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you can keep getting the latest and greatest. Leave any comments or questions below and if you want me to make a video about a particular thing please go ahead and tell me because I I take that seriously and I tend to make videos about those things all right everyone I will see you in the next one ciao